Dear friend, dear colleague, dear patient, now we always uh, will start with a net lecture. This time, not just on focusing on neuropelvology, but I will I will start an education program in um, in endometriosis because endometriosis and neuropelvology have a lot of points in common. So today we will start. Um, I will have a lecture on what we call the Luna procedure. The Luna technique or Luna procedure is a, a, a procedure performed in a lot of patients affected by endometriosis. And I know that in some center, the Luna technique is performed uh, in, pain, in patients suffering from pain, even without endometriosis. So maybe let's start. The Luna pro procedure, I will present here the benefit, what a patient can expect from this procedure for treatment of endometriosis. And of course, the risk of the Luna procedure, because if I see quite a lot of patients uh, after a Luna procedure, it's not because of the benefit, but because of the risk. So the Luna technique is Luna for ligament uterine nerve amputation. That means you have the uterus, and the uterus is attached in the middle of the pelvis through what we call parametria, ligament. And the ligament going, which I'm going dorsal words, are called sacro-uterine ligament. And in the ligament, you will find all the pelvic visceral nerve, that means the nerve in charge of all feeling coming from the, from the, from the bladder, from the rectum, from, uh, from the genital organ, and you have also all function of the bladder, uh, the sexual function and function of the rectum. So in the Luna procedure, you cut the sacroiotone ligament, that means you cut these vegetative nerves. And there is in parallel a second procedure called presacral neurectomy. It's more or less the same. You, you cut the same nerve, but not deep in the pelvis, close to the uterus, but like the, the name say, presacral, that means more or less at the, at the level of button belly, you cut the nerve of this, um, uh, the presacral area. That means you cut the nerve that normally brings the formation of pain from the pelvis to the spinal cord and then to the brain. So that means the lunar technique and the presacral neurectomy don't treat the endometriosis. So these both techniques cut simply the nerve that brings the information of pain to the brain. So it will not treat endometriosis, it will reduce, sometimes significantly reduce your pain. But once again, is not a treatment of the endometriosis. So if you cut this vegetative nerve, of course, if there is there are less nerve to bring the information, I have pain, to the spinal cord and then to the brain, then you feel less pain. And there were, uh, therefore, it will improve your quality of life. And once again, in this nerve, you have a lot of autonomic vegetative nerve. And if you remember the lecture I made in this uh, series on visceral pelvic nerves, when you are suffering from pelvic visceral nerve, you will always suffer from vegetative symptoms with um, nausea, headache, pallor, uh, fatigue, vomiting, all these symptoms, the typical symptom from patients suffering from endometriosis, if you cut this nerve, you will not a disparition of these symptoms. They will not go away completely, but maybe you can expect to have less vegetative symptoms. But I say that in the sacroiotone ligament and the presacral what we call hypogastric plexus, you have not just the nerve of the feeling, you have also the nerve involved in bladder, sexual, and bowel function. And that is probably the problem, the main problem of, the, of both techniques. So if you cut this nerve, the patient will develop trouble with the bowel, with constipation, outlet constipation. The patient will have difficulty know when they, she has to go on the toilet. The patient, because if you cut the autonomic nerve, you will 
um, cut the innervation of what we call the internal rectal sphincter. Because for the rectum, normally you have two sphincter, one internal and one, uh, one external. They are two. And if you cut the innervation of one of them, you have only one sphincter and not two. And that may expose the patient for fecal incontinence as well. So a combination of outlets of the patient syndrome, maybe you have ball one motion once a week, and on the second time, when the stool is getting a little bit more fluid, then you, you develop fecal incontinence. And for the bladder, it's exactly the same. Patient can develop some difficulty to empty the bladder. Difficulty emptying the bladder means recurrence of a urinary infection. It can go up to a bladder retention, and if patients are really not able to pee, then they will, the patient will have to use a catheter to empty the bladder. But on the same, you will lose the feeling of, I have to go now on the toilet. If you lose this feeling, you have the risk that your bladder over the months and years is getting bigger, 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 because you're not going enough and frequent enough to the toilet. And if the bladder is becoming bigger and bigger, then the bladder will lose the capacity of emptying. So you will have difficulty to pee, and over, over the year, you will have more and more difficulty to empty your bladder. And exactly on the, on the uh, like for the rectum, you have two sphincter for the, for the, for the urethra. And when you're losing one of both, you will have also an increased risk to lose urine, you will have a risk for urinary incontinence. So the problem, the, the, the view of the gynecologist is cut the nerve to reduce the pain. Now I will tell you the, um, the neuropelvological approach. First, in neurosurgery, there is a, a typical rule, never cut a nerve if it's not necessary. And of course, when you have endometriosis of the sacroiotoin ligament, you have to cut a uh, part of this nerve because you have to remove the endometriosis. But now, to cut the nerve, even when there is no endometriosis, I have difficulty with that. And I know that some colleagues are doing that, some university are doing that. As a neuropelvologist, I cannot agree with this procedure. Never cut a nerve because when you cut a nerve, it's like after a leg amputation, you have always a risk of stump pain. Stump pain, when you cut the sacroiotoin lin, uh, sacro lin ligament, mean pain at the deepness of the vagina during intercourse. And secondly, when you cut the nerve, you have the risk of phantom pain, like uh, after amp amputation and in the pelvis, the phantom pain is even if you cut the nerve or even if you remove the uterus over months, years, the patient will develop the same pain like in the past. So from the neuropelvological point of view, we don't want to cut the nerve. We want to better understand the cause that may induce an irritation of the nerve and then to treat the cause that uh, was that, that to treat the symptom. So in neuropelvology, and that is a, the reason why the diagnosis is so important, we want to, uh, to uh, provide the patient an adapted treatment, not to the symptom, but to the cause of the pain. So you understand that after what I'm telling you, I'm not a big friend, either from the presacral neurectomy or the Luna technique, even if it can help some patient uh, suffering from severe pain. Because uh, the patient may or can develop um, urinary, bowel, and sexual disorder. So it's very important before you're going in the OR to discuss all option and alternative, but not only with an endometrial specialist, which, who is not a specialist in the pelvic nerve. So you need to, to, to get an uh, uh, the opinion from a neuropelvologist. And that is what I always said, not neuropelvology belong to the gynecology, but gynecology 
part of the gynecology, or at least the pelvic radical surgery for endometriosis for cancer and so on, belong to the neuropelviology because you know that over the last 20 years, we develop nerve sparing technique. We want to preserve the nerve. And in the luna and the presacral neurectomy, the surgeon will perform exactly the contrary. He will not preserve the nerve. He will cut the nerve. So take care. If you get the indication from a luna technique and presacral neurectomy, try to prefer on for the treatment of the cause that to cutting of the nerve. So I'm finished with this lecture on the luna. I hope that it brought you enough an, an information to understand um, a little bit why, what as a gynecologist and endometriosis specialist we are doing. Keep healthy and see you the next time for the next lecture. Thank you very much and have a very good day.